Okay, I've done a coaxial net measurement using the Nano Saver on a Mac, but this time I'm going to use the Nano v uh, VNA itself. And there's a few different things that's different. Plus, I was also interested in verifying whether the connectors and the pigtails I use are included in those figures. So on the screen, you're going to see several samples. And uh, the green one, I believe, is the most accurate. But let's find out. So determine what your factory specs velocity factor is for your coax. In my case, I'm using the RG8X, which is 82% according to Belden. However, mine is not a Belden branded cable but I can verify with another video, I can show that how to get the velocity factor from a cable. So for now, let's connect our coax to port one or S11. Port two, S21 is disconnected, we're not using it. Turn on your nano VNA. You can calibrate if you wish or recall on your calibrated frequency or later on, you can do it. So you go to your home screen, home menu, hit display, hit trace. Hit trace. Trace zero, you want to have it active on. Trace one is off. Trace two is off. Trace three is off. Then back. Take a look at your channel and verify that it's showing S11 refractive. If it is, leave it be. Format. Select. Then tap more. Then select linear. Then go back twice, select transform, select low pass impulse. It's important. Don't select low pass step, low pass impulse. Then select transform on. The velocity factor, you enter it as a whole number. In this case is eight two. Hit the percent, which is like your return key. Then go back twice, then select stimulus. The start frequency we're going to set at 50 kilohertz. The stop frequency, we have two options. Either we put in a calculated result or we just take a rough guess between 200 to 240 megahertz. Okay, let the calculated result fit the green one. The formula is 5850 divided by the length of coax. 50.6 is 50 feet of coax, and I believe my pigtails and connectors are probably added another six inches, maybe even a little bit more. So convert that into meters is 15.42. You divide by that, you should get 379.377, then you multiply that by your velocity factor of 0.82. So the frequency According to this, I should use is 311.089. Okay. So that's what we enter in the stop frequency. Or if you're going to do an estimate, something in the range of 200 and 240. I like to use the marker. I set it for 
maximum and then either go left or right to get the high point and the high point will be your length of cable in meters in my case was 15.42 or was it 15.44 but anyways I'll check that later but 15.42 which tells me it's 50 feet, point five nine zero feet long. Very close, very close. Another feature with this, if there was a break in the coax line, the first peak would show where the break is in the distance. If you move your marker to the next peak, it, it could be the actual length of the cable or the return length from, from the reflection and also harmonics. So it depends on what you're testing and some of the criteria. You may be measuring the, the length of the cable, the reflected length of the cable and uh, other harmonics. So I've played with it several different ways and it seems to be accurate. Uh, I, it doesn't seem to make much difference if I use 101 or 401 points. It's, it's close. But in my scenario, I did set up the resolution for 401. I hope this helps and clarifies a few areas of possible mistakes that one could make and give you some uh, wrong readings. And it it appears that if you're using a pigtail and, you, and using a connector, you need to add that to your overall length, cable length, or expect those measurements. I only had a, a long cable purchase. It claimed to be 50 feet. When I did a rough physical measurement, it was uh, less than 50 feet by a few inches, but it could have been my inaccuracy in the way I was measuring because I only was using a 25 foot uh, tape. So it would have been easy to slip and plus it wasn't completely st stretched out, <laughs> little loops. So I, I'm assuming it's, it is 50 feet. And the pigtails, the connectors added another six inches. So the next thing is to find out what my real velocity factor is. That's in another video if you're interested. Thank you.